Hiya and welcome. I'm Lisa, pro makeup artist and today's video. I'm feeling really nervous because I feel like I'm sort of out of sync with doing YouTube videos because there's a lot going on in life. But the goal of this video is to do some kind of colourful Barbie core kind of vibes but it's not going to be like the Barbie core you're thinking like with pinks gonna be like other pastel kind of colors which I thought would be perfect for the season that we're in summer going to events and weddings and this will tone so well with so many different kinds of makeup so I'm gonna do a full beat with y'all because it's been a minute because it's been a minute but I'm a pro makeup artist 17 years I think I've said that already um, I'm a self confess beauty addict basically I love it all skincare um just love it all Oh, feeling like cat I'm like covered in cat fur and I feel really stuffy from it anyway so on my skin I don't have anything on that at the moment apart from a bit of skincare gotta say I used this earlier the ultra violet SPF 50 the brand new one fave fluid fluid da, 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 ultra light sunscreen and it's lovely so lightweight not sticky um, it takes a minute to kind of rub in but gorgeous it's gonna act as a really good base for makeup so yeah the kind of colors i'm thinking i'm doing a really flawless base i'm using this gorgeous suku palette how stunning are those shades and colors in there um but let's start off with the skin it's funny i did a wedding earlier this week so going in with the Skin Nova. Am I running out? Feels like I could be. Can't undo the lid on this. Let's see if I can just do that. This is a really lovely kind of skincare makeup hybrid. I'm only doing a bit of this to give me a nice bit of extra glowing texture. And you also want to make sure that your skin is really well prepped. By that I don't mean necessarily layering lots of skincare on, but you've exfoliated. You can either do that the day before, um, like the night before, or the morning of, depending on what your skin is like and whatnot. But you can see that just gives a really nice luminosity that comes through the makeup. Because the thing is with makeup, it's very much about creating layers on the skin of um, products that um, will give you dimension and just kind of, yeah, cuteness. I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer. I've been loving this Maybelline concealer, the multi-use. I think it's a shade one-to-one. -one. The thing's rubbed off, which is not helpful. But really liking it. Um, personally, I don't really use it in my kit because of the sponge applicator. It wouldn't be very hygienic. So I'm just, you can see that covers that blemish pretty, well, that's more than a blemish now I've picked. Um, so I'm almost doing like a one layer makeup type thing. I've been really enjoying this sort of technique to make my skin look very flawless as well as um, creating dimension and shapes in the skin. So I am just using Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade number six. So this is going to give me a little bronzer, a bit of shape and all that jazz um, before doing anything else. Uh, so I layer my foundation, my concealer, you can do a bronzer blusher or you can just apply those other bits later. I'm using the Givenchy Prisma Libre foundation. I The lid has fallen off. I forgot to mention that on my channel I do unfiltered, unedited videos. So these are just fresh off the camera. So I'm just applying this kind of in betweeny, and I just dot it on to give me um, a nice amount of control. I don't like to do too much product on the nose. 
But yeah, you could add more highlight and stuff. But because we've got those other products, look, I've even got too much foundation on my hand there. But maybe I'll leave it there for a minute. And then I'm going to use this um, My Kitco Smoothing Foundation. So depending on what the product is doing, because I can see that none of this has really dried down, I'm just going to go straight in. So start with your kind of lightest colour product first whatever your skin tone start off with the lightest color product and then you're going to blend so this is a my kit go smoothing foundation brush did i just say that i'm not sure i'm just going to blend it around the eyes so kind of starting with the concealer and the foundation blending it all in marrying it all up so i'm not mixing it all together quite yet and when I do, there's going to be a bit of a method to my madness because if I mix it all up, you're going to undo all those kind of zones and getting that definition in areas. And notice how, because my hairs are up, I am doing the ears, tickling those bits of colour. That is that done, pretty much. I mean, a few areas need a bit more blending, but that will come in a minute. And then I do this, the where the bronzer essentially is. So using the Hollywood Flawless Filter in a deeper colour just acts as a really, really lovely bronzer. Um, it's a nice way of giving your face a bit of definition and shape without it being too heavy or too much. And I'm just using the brush in those areas. So I'm not doing like big, round, blending, pop it everywhere. It's being really intentional. And notice it's actually quite quick to kind of whack on as well. Which is always handy. There you go. It's looking, it's making a bit more sense now. And if you want, you can get a bit of your foundation and just dab it on because if we think of like a barbie type skin it's going to be very very flawless it's not necessarily matte or anything this has a bit of a satin sheen so skin will look really healthy and freyish um, do you know what i'm seeing a lot of people doing their foundation and not really taking it into their hairline you're seeing like a very obvious line so you almost like want to push it in there it's a real bugbear of mine when I see people that have got this like freaking line and you're like, that is not cute. So I'm not really taking this over those areas of skin that are um, where the bronzer is. It's more so that negative space. I'm very, very conscious. You should be very conscious of that, babes. Okay. Okay, is that okay with you? And then what I'm going to do is add a bit of blush. This is actually Pixie On The Go Bronzer. Um, but just with the colour that I am now, it acts as a really pretty, dewy, kind of hydrating blush. Because it's got this rosy sort of glow. And I'm just applying that straight from the doodah onto the skin. And the shade is Warm Glow. It likes to do a little bit on my nose, but just melts in really beautifully, and it just catches that light. And then you can use the edge of your brush. I don't directly go over the middle of it because I don't want to dilute that. I'm just tickling the edges, giving it a little ravavi voom, and then. I'm gonna use a bit of highlighter on top now. So you can see the skin, as I said, is looking really dimensional. That's what we wanted to create. So I am tapping a little bit of Vive Skin Dew on those kind of highlighty points just to give it some extra gorgeous. I don't even know where Barbie's meant to be from. Malibu? 
above the brow. She's looking cute. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of brow action. So I'm gonna brush them first. and then define. Yes, so with my brows and the shape that they are, I just fill in the little gaps first and sort of fill in the lines. So I do the top and the bottom, just to give them a bit of structure. And then I blend using the spoolie, just to blend those two edges together. But yeah, I do feel like I'm a bit of out of the swing of kind of doing YouTube videos. So if you've got any suggestions of stuff you'd like to see or products you want to see in action. Um, if you're new here, uh, we are doing a big house renovation. So I don't feel kind of like all over the place. And this is my busiest. I am a makeup artist, a working makeup artist. And this is kind of a really busy season for me. I've just worked at Glastonbury. Uh, with private clients going to the festival, attending the festival. Um, There's a slight hoarseness in my throat that I'm still not like fully recovered um, from that madness that I love. Um, and I've been to like London a lot for work, and I just feel like I've been here, there, and everywhere. My husband is away currently, he's been away for two weeks on a nice holiday while I'm here holding down the fort um so yeah it's been just a really hectic time but all good all good you know this happens in life doesn't it so I just feel like yeah a lot's been going on this is the Kosas kind of clear brow and also I've had a few kind of health things come up so I it, it was thought that I had endometriosis um long long story I'll give you the short edit. In 2019, I had a miscarriage and the midwife was like, we are pretty sure that you have what looks like endometrial cysts when they kind of did the scans and whatnot. And they were basically like, yeah, you need to get this followed up on. And then, so I started to, doctors were being very unhelpful, being like, why do you want to be diagnosed? What will benefit with you? It's like, well my body can I have the right to know if there's something wrong with it anyway and then they went on to um the pandemic happened and everything got kind of to a standstill and I got cat hair on me got it um yeah pandemic happens so everything came to a standstill and it's taken me until this year, basically, to be heard, to be listened to. I had to basically fight to get an appointment and I've finally been referred to a gynaecologist and I've been confirmed to have a lar laroposcopy. Laparoscopy. Um, so yeah, that has been mad. So it's just been a lot going on. Um, I'm trying my best, but yeah, it's just a lot and I'm only human. So, and obviously since knowing that, I've sort of, I guess, uh, allowed myself to feel like the gynecologist just using a Suku gloss thing. And I'll tell you why in a bit. Um, like when I was having the scans with the gynecologist, she was absolutely amazing. And um, so I live in the UK and we have the NHS, which is amazing, but it's very much on its knees, a system that is very much underfunded. And as soon as I walked into the room, she was like, I'm so sorry, you should have come here years ago because we, we can see from your notes and yada, yada, yada. And basically they've discovered that there is as well as endometriosis, a really large cyst in my fallopian tube on the left hand side because 
I do get a lot of pain in my lower back and my leg which kind of impacts exercise, energy and a whole plethora of kind of other stuff so it basically really sucks um, and since kind of knowing I've just felt a lot more pain and understood what's kind of going on in my body um, so that feels really crazy um, so I don't know if you've ever had any experiences with this or no I've been kind of looking up a lot of YouTube videos to kind of prepare myself because at the moment there's um, a six to year month wait list and I think I went to the had the appointment with the doctors and got the referral letter about or with the gynecologist about a month ago so I've got a long wait ahead of me basically which is fine but also I'm a freelancer so this means you know having to not work I don't get sick pay all this stuff so yeah it's daunting but obviously I know health is health is wealth and you can't ignore that fact so yeah there's been a lot going on as I said um so this is the Suko Spring Summer Palette this is Signature Colour Eyes 124 it's a lovely lovely palette um so yeah, I've been looking up about what that surgery looks like it's pretty much a day procedure but I think it can be a very varied um recovery for people some people are quite fine some people are really not okay um and I live in a small town so like I kind of drive everywhere so I'm like can I drive and like all this stuff all these questions um and I did get a call from the hospital asking <coughs> because it could be done one of two places it might be done at the RUH which is my biggest closest hospital like on a large scale in the city or it might be done at a private clinic I don't have any like medical insurance or private health care it is my dream to have private health care because I have a few health things going on but you know it's just a cost thing and I can't afford it right now so but that is the goal if you help me be successful, folks, you know, I'll be healthier. I'd love that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that has been, like, why I've felt kind of all over the place. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm using this colour first on the eye and then just blending that around. Um, yeah, so I got a call from the hospital saying you know have I got any holiday and I was like I wish I need one I was like no but I've got jobs on these dates that I've been booked for so just hoping that um and they sort of indicated it might be end of summer I'm looking to be booked in so and how it works is you don't really get an option of dates like right this day work for you this day it's like this is the date go you either can accept or decline it and obviously if you decline it like I had to decline a an initial gynae appointment and they were so funny about being rebooked for another one and you could only like ch schedule the appointment like change it a few times and you're like I don't life just yeah it, my life is not simple because of my work you know and I'm not at the position where I'm like, I'm, I'm a, I, I live relatively modestly, I live probably a, a slightly above that, but I'm nothing like, you know, I don't have bucket loads of savings, I live quite a normal life, and that is kind of, I'm just using this lighter colour, I guess it's a bit more bluey versus the kind of spring green the inner corner and I'm gonna put a dash of it on the lid also and I'm using this MAC 239 brush so yeah there's been a lot going on um, I live quite a normal life so you know missing out on work does really impact me you know I'm in a position where uh, you know <laughs> I'll be cutting it fine financially or things are okay um, and obviously I want to be able to move past that. I feel like I've been stuck in a cycle for like a few years and obviously like the pandemic hit, which was 
awful so I still kind of feel like I'm recovering a little bit from that because you just miss out on so many opportunities because of that and I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say really but I'm willing to work um and just want things to be a bit more stable and that's a big reason why I'm doing a lot more online because I want to just diversify the opportunities that are coming my way and I'm so much more than just a makeup artist I love I'm just gonna go this color here um the kind of more grass green I suppose uh just do that on the outer corner just to have other opportunities and work you know I'm really into like empowering people to feel really good within their skin and kind of go against the standard notion of beauty that you know beauty can be fun and it's about creating self-expression as well as connecting with people um so i'm going to be starting doing some actual physical real live events which is really fun i want to hold like my own master class i'm doing a couple that have been booked in at soho house at babington um coming up this summer so i'm going to be doing like one every quarter so that would be really fun yeah so i feel excited but it's just like a lot constantly going on and obviously your house is kind of it's really been okay so far and if you want to see more about the renovation like there's a there's a playlist for it all but um yeah it's just it's a lot <laughs> a lot is going on and that's life to be honest life is never a very simple trajectory of things so the reason why i started off with that um mid-tone shade was to have something for this to all blend into so it kind of gives it a very seamless airbrushed look it's really cute right just something a bit different and then there's this gorgeous color which i imagine if you used an eyeliner i'll, tr I'll show you what i mean in a minute but i think it's like a duochrome kind of swatchy number just dropped a bit of pigment on my eye my cheek I'm meant to be doing two lovely things today. I'm meant to be having a massage, but my masseuse unfortunately isn't well. So I'm like, ugh. And then I was meant to be meeting a friend, but she has had to cancel. So I'm like, oh. I felt very thrown in what to do, so I was like, okay. So I'm doing a slightly kind of lifted wing shape. But what I want to show you with this is that if you put, so this is the, find a pencil. So I'm going to swatch, and you can do any color pencil. I've just done a brown hair. So if you swatch an eyeshadow on its own, but then if you swatch it over something that's slightly tacky can you see there that it picks up more of the pigment so it looks a bit more green while this looks a bit more brown it really transforms it so it's a really clever way of using those kind of monochromatic I'm just gonna put this on silent um, kind of tones monochromatic duotones duo tones that is, not, that is not a brush and what I'm doing is taking the colour up onto the brow bone and what that's going to do is really lift open because with my eyes I don't have a whole lot of lid space so it almost looks hooded and the other thing is it also I don't have a lot of lid above lid space brow bone and stuff so my camera's done that really annoying thing where it just switches off for no apparent reason. Anyone with a Canon um, GX7 Mark II, if you know how I can stop that from doing that, please let me know because it's very annoying. 
Okay. This has been quite a chatty video, hasn't it, man? I didn't I didn't know we were going to go this deep, but here we are. Can't remember what I was saying. I think I was saying something about this duochrome eyeshadow. And even if you use these wet as well. Let's use it wet. Why not? Let's go to frickin' town. Where is a mist? Right. The Curel mist. I'm gonna do it. Always do it in one corner of the eyeshadow, oh, not over the whole thing, because you don't want to. Sometimes misting a product can change the texture. This is just a really fine nail art kind of brush. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I was really looking forward to seeing my friend and I've not seen her in weeks and we just keep being really busy and missing each other. Which is really annoying. But it's subtle. You can see the The definition it gives it a bit softly because of the colour as well. So what I think I'm going to do after this is I'm going to pack my stuff. I've got a job tomorrow in Cheltenham. I'm going to pack all my stuff for that. I'm going to take myself off for a roast dinner. I'm just going to have a child portion because that does me well and then maybe go for a swim in a steam just really chill out equally i want to start sort of tackling the kitchen but i've got we've got at least a month until we need to like get rid of our current kitchen completely so there's no rush i can just sit back and relax As we know, as we're an adult, life, you just never know what life's going to bring day to day, do we? Fancy, all dressed up, <laughs> nowhere to go share it with where right now I'm gonna go back to this sort of blending brush I had I'm just sort of cleaning up that edge there and I'm gonna go to so this was to put on the kind of mid-tone color I'm gonna go to the bit of that foundation that's left on my hand this is why I like to leave a bit of product out and then I can just polish everything up I want to give everything a bit of a softer edge. And you can see how that just cleans everything up really nicely versus the other eye. It just gives it a bit more of a lifted look. And I, I'm not a fan of going too kind of pale with the concealer. To me, it's a very dated look. It's very harsh as well. It doesn't look beautiful. I want everything to be cute. Um, but yeah. Got a real pang of hunger just then. Ooh, ooh. But yeah, that is life right now. Mental babes, mental continental. Went to an amazing Tatra event um, earlier this week, which was just phenomenal. Um, there's a pop up in. It's on actually until the 16th of the month. If you're in Covent Garden in London, check it out. Just applying a bit more of that 
light colour. That's just so pretty. And I think green would, would go with so many different colour outfits. Like if you've got special events or anything, green would look amazing with... You know you could have be wearing an olive suit or outfit that would look really gorgeous with this. You could be doing um, peaches, would look amazing with this. Even like lilacs, I've got a little lilac bra on now that looks really good with the grown. Just tones really well. I think those would be really good colours to go with this kind of makeup. Another brush hair on my nose. And then a few weeks ago, I went to the Caroline Hiron Skin Rocks uh, Cream Cleanser launch. Hello, like, what? I can't believe I was A, invited, and B, it was so overwhelming to go to just purely the amazing people that you were in the presence of, and it was just like, amazing industry people and and non-industry as well but just like you know well-known people respected for their craft or whatever they do it was yeah my jaw was on the floor I felt like and it was there was a lot of people in a space so to get from here to there was quite a mission to sort of get through and it was like <gasps> so overwhelming and then like as towards the end of the evening it was really nice because it sort of chilled out a little bit but I felt like I had very like clipped conversations with people but it was so amazing and if you haven't tried the cream cleanser you really need to it is phenomenal I've been really enjoying kind of all of Caroline's range I'm using her moisturizer and oil probably at the moment and I've been using the cleanser pretty much since it launched using it as um, a double and a just my morning cleanse as well and using it as a double cleanse just to keep things really simple but it literally cuts through makeup this is a Lancome hypnosis mascara I love it um but yeah that was like a major like I don't want to say career moment because it, it wasn't about me at all but it was just like wicked being in in a room full of these people that I've admired for so long and like Caroline's just wonderful and her team and her product development is just unreal so I cannot wait to see kind of what is next for the range and it's nice that they're launching products to have their moment kind of individually and I think the whole range is really clever because it comes with fragrance and unfragrance so you can really choose what you like or don't like you know your personal preferences based on skin and all that jazz I really need to start using a lash serum again my lashes have gone so rubbish my one upstairs has basically run out Like I need a new mascara, this feels like it's on its last legs or so. Um, what else? It's kind of it really. I think there's a fun few events potentially coming up, but like when I go to London, I kind of have to decide because obviously it's very expensive to travel. I don't live in London. Um, and the train tickets, anything from kind of like 50 to 80 pounds. Um, my mum does live in London, so I can obviously gratefully stay with her at times, but it could be tricky staying with family, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I just can't wait to be in a position where I can just stay in hotels, just so I'm a bit more comfortable and I get a bit more chill time rather than be like so switched on and like ba ba ba, you know? So obviously when you want to see family it's like I don't know there's just a lot of pressure to kind of please people and I just really want to be able to focus on my shit and what I'm doing that was my shoes by the way on the on the chair um this is Aphrodite Vive lip pencil Yeah, 
this when I go to events I have to really think about like what events I want to go to because it's you kind of dedicating your time to go and whatnot. So now I'm gonna go in with the Suku lipstick in the shade 116. Also the Suku foundations are unreal as well, they're lovely. Well, it's a tone really. nicely and then I want to layer a gloss over the top I like to line the lip after and it's also pretty much been a year since I left working part-time at the farm which is mental during the pandemic, I had to get a part-time job because pandemic times. This is um, Fenty Lip Gloss in Pearl. And it was a great fun job. Um, I was working for the farmers at the farm were lovely, but I had an awful, awful boss, bully boss culture, which took me back to when I worked at a company for 10 years and I had very two bad bully buttons and it really traumatised me and you know you sort of do something just getting a powder and you don't really realise and I like how much something probably impacted you and you hadn't properly dealt with stuff and it was like a full circle moment where I had to like deal with it again. Trigger sponge, Charlotte Tilbury powder, glaring on mattifying key areas um and i basically stood up to this boss and i left as soon as i could kind of financially um which was yeah it was a huge mental toll but you kind of have to do what you have to do sometimes when you're an adult and i took out what i needed from it and i worked with some amazing people i do miss animals as well sometimes um because that was a really cute part of the job but I'm just grateful to have the strength to be able to like make the best of a situation and just like move on from stuff and don't put up with people with BS because they are not time for that. I feel like this is a really random video in the grand scheme of things but um, here we are. Here's the makeup. Let me know if you've got any questions. Everything is listed below. Um, yeah, give me some ideas of stuff you'd like to see. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been fun to do like a full on makeup with you all because I haven't done that in a wee while. Um, I feel like I need to do some like product reviews and stuff. I feel like I've got so many things to, that I need to try, test. It's quite overwhelming. Let me know if there's anything that you've seen that you'd really like me to showcase. And obviously if I get it, I will share my thoughts. Um, but that is kind of it. Thank you so much. Here's the little close up. It's so cute. Um, ready to take myself out for a lunch date. Solo. Um... Yeah, that is it. That is it, gorgeous ones. Follow my TikTok. Are you on threads yet? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments too. Um, threads, TikTok. I'm on all those places. So come join me there for more daily content. And sayonara. See you soon, honey. Bye.